sharing with you my enthusiasm to teach this course, and you're going to love it. Uh, my name is Holly Tapa Whiting. Just call me Holly. Um, I have had, had a lot of the, uh, learning experiences that you're going to encounter. When I've been in education since 1983, and I am also a mother, a grandmother, and a spouse. And I also work in the community and I believe in going to church. So I did all that while I was getting my um, education. And so I know the roles that have a full time and that I can understand how you're entering the classroom with many levels of responsibilities and roles. So I'm going to be very empathetic to your hectic schedules because I lived it. And I can be a resource and a mentor and encourage you at any time in your efforts and dedication need a little bit more encouragement. I'm here to help you be successful in this course and equip you with skills that you'll promote your success in courses other than this and in your life. And that's it. That's about it. Um, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'll my contact number is going to be near the end of this, this slide presentation. And so it's going to be here to have an ongoing effective communication with uh, each other. As you see, I can not read my notes, but um, I didn't memorize it. Anyway, so um, my office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call me. At any time, even after that, I will answer the phone if I'm awake. If not, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Saturdays, just half a day, and Sundays are reserved for my family. But if you're having an emergency or you're stressing, call me. I want to answer your questions. I don't want you to stress. So, what are the course aims and outcomes? Well, this course has been developed to strengthen your critical thinking skills. And we hope that the readings, the lectures, and the activities, which are interactive in your textbook, and they also will also have assignments, quizzes, and discussions. And this will promote your logical re reasoning skills and your awareness of your faculty reasoning, make you a more effective communicator, learner, and consumer in both your professional and personal lives. What are the expectations? The expectations are, I'm going to read it, students are expected to participate in all discussion and classroom assignments by the specific due date, and the due dates are pretty standard. Wednesday is the day that the first discussion post is due. Sunday, two others are due, and so are your quizzes and all your assignments. The week usually closes on Sunday night. Also, because this is a college level course, grammar and spelling are always matter whether you are writing in the discussion or email to me. Next, all your communication should be conducted in a very respectful manner. If you are unaware of online etiquette, there I will post that in the um, announcements uh, web to look at what you need. Um, also, um, Please read the chapters and it's possible to be successful if you are not participating in the readings. The course requirements. Well, the requirements for this course, we will go over that. Um, basically, you would need a computer and reliable internet. If your internet breaks down, you can go to a coffee shop, you can go to a campus CHCP, you can go to your public Library. I will also post in the discussion many opportunities that you have to access the free internet. You also are required to adhere to all CHCP policies, and you can find a copy of the CHP policy on the Canvas homepage. Your attendance policies. You are required to attend CHCP with the online in the following. You're taking an online class, you must attend each week. Attendance is defined as uh, participating in any academic activity, which includes posting in the graded discussions, submitting a written assignment, submitting a completed quiz or assessment or test, 
or intend, attending a sacred synchronous learning activity with me. Posting is not related to grading discussions for forms and written assignments, and they're not related to actual assignments not may be reviewed and disqualified for attendance purposes. Students who do not attend at least once a week, once in the, any 14 consecutive days will automatically be dropped from the course. And I do not have any powers to save you. Um, you'll be administrated, withdrawn from the college retroactive to the last date of recorded attendance. TACP makes many scheduled breaks during the uh, and there are no courses and schedules. When this occurs, such as an annual winter break, the non-enrollment period may extend for a 14-day limit. Okay. You're going to have some required downloads. The downloads are you need to do the lectures and the textbooks. You need to read them. Usually they're most effective on the Firefox web browser. And you, so you'll need to download the Firefox and access Canvas through the Firefox web browser. That's going to be also the web link will be in the um, uh, announcements under Welcome and Greetings. Course guidelines, late work policy. It's not, I will accept late work policy, late work, if you call me, text me before your work is late, no deduction. One day, two days, you're going to get a 5% late deduction and no more than six days. That's it. Late, late is not accepted. Just call me. I, like I said, I will work with you. You have probably hectic schedules. And I had one when I was going, and my uh, instructors were very sympathetic. What is the deductions for being late? Uh, one to two days. And the rationale for that is this is an accelerated course, so falling behind after six days is like falling behind three weeks in a traditional semester course. That's why after six days, you may be dropped. So it's really extremely hard to be caught up. Academic integrity. Do your own work. Do not copy. Cheating and plagiarism is not tolerated. If you are caught plagiarizing a post or any other work, you will re receive an automatic zero. Further action may be taken if it's the first offense, second offense, or third offense, and it is always recorded and it stays with you. Of course, recommend recommendations. I recommend that for each course you have open up a file and maybe some files for each week. Also, I think you should get a calendar. Know the due dates. Again, due dates are Wednesdays for the first post, Sunday nights for the second post, and all the nights. Also, choose a date. Choose a day. Choose a date to do your assignments. I like doing the date, working on a Sunday and doing the week, the next week. The week starts on Monday, but Sunday I usually work ahead. Also, set out a time. Make sure your family knows that this is your quiet time and also your family and you'll be more of a success. Nelson Mandela said, this always seems possible until it's almost done. So with that said, I'm including this quote because there's many times that I have worked and I didn't think it was going to be possible because you're juggling your work hours, deadlines, and your other courses with your work. There's going to always be time with your families, birthday parties, whatever. But you must persevere in the courses. Eight weeks is a short time to complete any college course. But once you have completed it, you'll be so proud you did. And you'll be one step closer to graduation. Online learning is an opportunity that allows you to have experience in continuing your academic growth in your comforts at home or at work. It is exciting, inviting, and sometimes challenging to meet the learning environment because you have to learn at your own convenience. It also asks you to comply with tight assignment timelines. The most important thing on this journey is for you to understand, to meet your goals, you're going to have to take time for your learning experience and achieve, achieve substantial growth. What are you going to start with? Week one. And again, 
hope you create a file for each course, course subfiles for each week, read the text, take notes, inter use the interactive flashcards, do your homework assignments, post the discussion by Wednesday, take the quiz, and the rest. If you have any questions, details, you can just call me and that's the end of this presentation. So thank you very much for signing out so I can close this up.